cancer. But now fresh research confirms something as simple as changing your diet could have a transformative effect. One woman from Bishop Stalford says she's seen improvements to her energy levels and well-being after taking medication to improve her gut health, as Clement Glasson reports. As an alternative therapist, Carol Ann Barrett from Bishop Stortford is open-minded when it comes to health. But even she was amazed at the difference everyday ingredients have made to her long COVID. She took part in a trial at Avonbrook's Hospital in Cambridge, which formulated capsules containing the friendly bacteria found in some foods. We do actually have a very good diet. There are lots of herbs and spices and things, but I did notice uh, a quite a dramatic effect. It definitely um, is great for my digestive system and definitely I have more energy and hopefully it's increasing my immunity. 126 patients took part in the study, a blend of five types of friendly bacteria called lactobacillus probiotics. Professor Robert Thomas says that diet should not be seen as an alternative to vaccination, but improving gut health may help to prevent COVID as well as helping with symptoms. And that anyone can do it by paying a visit to their local supermarket. So I'm sorry it's a hard call just before Christmas, but reducing the sugar intake, excess meat, stopping smoking, exercising, eating foods with, uh, which are full of healthy bacteria, such as kefir, kimchi, sauerkraut, and eating the foods which uh, they call prebiotics, which help to feed the healthy bacteria. So these would be your uh, artichokes, beans, uh, herbs, spices, and fiber-rich fruit and vegetables. The study will now be extended. The team investigating whether adding vitamin D to the mix will make it an even stronger recipe for success. Claire McGlasson, ITV News, Cambridge. A judge has ruled